quick way. Last week we looked at the eternal purpose of God uh, expressed in the desire of the Godhead. The Father's desire for a family of sons, the Son's desire for a bride, and the Spirit's desire for a temple. These three summarize the entire Bible. Uh, you can trace the Bible from Genesis to Revelation along the path of these three desires of the Godhead. And uh, these three desires expressed in the Bible also took after the three the patriarchs of, of our faith, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You will see from the Bible that Abraham corresponds to the Father, the, God, the Godhead, the Isaac corresponds to the Son in the Godhead, then Jacob corresponds to the Holy Spirit. The, the Abraham's life, the main point of his life was son. He was looking for a son. That's the main part, point of the story of Abraham. The main point of Isaac's life was his journey, the, the, uh, uh, his, his search for a bride in Genesis 24. Then for Jacob, you see that he, he was the only one among them who was involved in a lot of movements, moving from place to place and all that. And uh, Isaac too was the one, the only person among them who married only one wife till death, which, which would qualifies him to typify Christ or the Son. Now in the Bible, uh, from Genesis to Revelation, you will see God's picture of the desire of the Son. Adam and Eve were models expressing the Son's desire for a bride. The Bible says, for this purpose, a man shall leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. In, in Ephesians 4, Ephesians 5, 30, uh, from 25 coming, the Apostle Paul said that he quoted this phrase and said that it's a mystery showing the relationship between Christ and the church, where Christ is portrayed as the groom and the church portrayed as the bridegroom. In 2 Corinthians 11 verse 2, the Apostle Paul said that he had espoused us, you know, as a chaste virgin to be married to one husband who is Christ. So you see these, these, these snapshots of the desire of the Son. That desire was fulfilled. We had several pictures in the, in the Old Testament, Adam and Eve, Isaac and Rebecca and all that. But it was also fulfilled in the church. Now the church is being prepared as the bride. When you get to the book of Revelation, you will see the bride of the Lamb as the holy city, the new Jerusalem. Figuratively, that stands for the church stands for the saints who are quite being prepared now as the bride so you see the bible begins with a couple adam and eve and ends with a wedding the bride and the bridegroom the marriage supper of the lamb that is the journey the the bible uh, gives us concerning the son's desire for a bride there are many many other things in between but these are the main points so the, the son's desire for a bride look at the genesis you see adam and eve uh, look at isaac and, and rebecca look at christ and the church even look at song of solomon between solomon and the shulamites the, the the black woman you will see pictures of the church and christ deep deep themes of scripture buried buried in these models you know the all depicting the desire of the son for a bride and so that's 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 it for now next week i'm going to talk about the desire of the spirit for a temple god bless you